Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be showing to you how you can modify the offset of your slide transition with the help of custom values, custom text editing controllers and provider state management. Let's go. Now what I'll do, we'll go back under our slide transition notifier and we'll be creating bunch of functions to change the offset, right? So here I'll be simply recreating a new uh, instance of start offset. And the value of this will be zero. That is the offset will be zero. So here let's say offset dot zero. Now one more thing here. We are getting one more offset here, which will be nothing but the end offset. Now the following of value of end offset will be a constant of offset of in the dimensions of one and zero. Just like that. The value of dx, that is the x linear app line will be 1 and the value of y linear line will be 0. Now once I have done this, I will be simply creating a void function of let's say set start offset and this will be requiring a new value of offset. Alright, so once I have done this, I will simply say the start offset will be having the value of the new offset. Just like that and simply I don't need notify listeners function. That is the uh, notifier. Now once I have done this, let's copy it and paste it here and here I'll simply say set end offset and yes, the value of end offset will be the end offset here. Just like that. Now once I have done this, what we can do, we can go back and here I'll be simply initializing my slide transition notifier. So here let's say slide transition notifier, the value of slide transition notifier, let's create a function way. So here I'll be saying, simply saying this will be taking a value of render UI, that is if we have to listen to the uh, changes or not. So here I'll be simply using my provider of the following context for slide transition notifier. Now once that is done, let's add the listen value of render the UI or not. Now once I have done this, what we can do, we can create some text fields here. Right, so here I'll be creating a new uh, stateless widget. Let's call it custom text field. Now our entire stateless widget will be requiring a value of let's say a text editing controller and also some hint text, right? So here let's say a string of uh, hint text, right? So once I have done this, let me uh, create a constructor value for it. So let's say this dot editing controller and this value will be the required one. Now once I have done this, simply uh, go here and let's say initialize a new text field, just like that. And here we'll be requiring a text editing controller or I think a controller or a text editing controller. And also we'll be requiring some uh, decoration of uh, input decoration, right? So here, let's say a hint text for a hint text, just like that. Now let's also add some hint style. For text style, I just need a color here of white, nothing else, right? So color dot white. Now once this is done, what I'll do, I'll simply add a keyboard type to here. So let's say a keyboard type, I think the value of text input type or something. Yeah, text input type of number, just like that. And uh, a constant value. So when this thing is done, I can go back and instead of having a center, let's have a widget of a column. And I'll say the main axis alignment will be a center. Similarly, the cross axis alignments, just like that. Now, once this thing is done, what we can do, uh, we can go below the center. Let's have some spacing here. It will be now. Now, once this thing is done, uh, I'll be creating uh, a new row. Now, here under row, I will be having my custom text field. Now, let's go at the top and create some uh, text editing controllers here. I'll be creating them here. So, let's say final text editing controller. Let's say offset x, offset start x controller. That is the xy controller. Uh, right. So here, let's say a text editing controller. Similarly, offset x, y. So we'll be requiring here nothing but uh, start x, not start, but uh, end x and and y just like that so we have all of the values of our offset controllers so let's go here and i'll simply say uh offset x controller and let's say a hint text here so let's say uh offset x value 
or star text value you can add any sort of thing here doesn't matter right so once i have done this now you can see we are getting some dimension error so what i'll do i'll go into my text field and rebound that in the size box so in our size box let's have a width of 200 and height of 20 i don't know let's check it let's sort start everything cool so now you can see we have our text field here now uh, i can copy that and paste it one more time but the offset will be y and just like that now you can see we have our both of our text field here now i can do i can simply say some color in our, our text field because i'm not able to say anything so let's say a uh, field value to be true and let's have a field color of colors dot gray or green but let's remove the height cool just like that and the gray is looking too dirty here so let's have a black of 26 or black i think we have some brown color or brown gray okay brown gray is looking fine all right so let me go at the top and simply say the magnetic alignment will be space evenly right so uh, what i'll do once this thing is done uh, the ui will be kind of basic here because i just want to teach you the basics uh, not more funky ui stuff here so right now after this i'll simply add here some uh, dimensions that is some spacing and after that i'll be simply adding a button here of action chip now here i'll be simply say uh, modify start offset right so here we requiring here an on press property and some background color so let's have a background color of colors dot blue something like that all right so here you can see we have got our entire thing now here on tapping over it what i'll do uh, we need to capture the entire value of our offset right so here we need to add one more property so here let's say final uh, function of double value on change whatever it is right so here let's say required this dot on changed right so you can go here and say on change some value and the function will be nothing but on change with some value right so we cannot have a double here so let's make a string because the text will be giving us a string here right so here we will be having the property of on change and i can copy that i can paste it here now uh, for testing purpose let's try to uh, print everything whatever we are able to type here so let's say print val to string or to lowercase doesn't matter right so if i type something here you can see we are able to get it here right also we need to do the same thing so let's paste it here i should be able to see the value okay works perfect now once this thing is done what i can do i can use the slide transition notifier right so uh, for that i'll go here i'll simply say transition notifier and we are not listing anything i'll simply say or what we can also do is like it will be rewriting an entire thing so instead of using on change i'll be simply uh, using the value of our uh, controllers right we have also assigned our controllers to them right so here all i'll do i'll simply say uh, final offset start offset is equal to the value of offset right now the value will be nothing but double dot parse and the value will be a uh, start okay what are the name of our controllers okay yeah these ones so this one two string just like that and we can copy the same thing here right so once this thing is done i can simply say start offset y right so we have got a start offset and i can uh, provide the value here so i'll simply say slide transition notifier dot false dot set start offset and the value will be the start offset just like that all right now when this thing is done the value will be set to our the value of our start offset that is the start offset but what we also have to do we have to define that value in our uh, beginner and end end verse offset as well all right so here what i'll do i'll simply create here a new offset I know this is going to uh, complex here, but simply bear with me, right? So I'll simply call it depth start offset and the value will be nothing but slide transition notifier and we'll be listening to the value 
so make sure you render the UI and make it true copy that <coughs> paste it here and make it def and offset and the value will be yes and offset now when this thing is done i can copy that and i can simply paste it here easy and simply copy that and paste it one more time just like that now once this thing is done the entire value will be the default offset value right so whatever we are adding in our slide transition notifier right so if i make it 0 0.1 you can see it will be making from the zero right so i'll make it zero and zero as well <coughs> Right. So what I can do, I can simply uh, restart the entire application one more time. Right. Now you can see the application is not moving at all because the entire uh, offset is gone. So I'll make it one and hot restart everything. Right. So it is going down, but it's going too down. So let's make it 0 0.2 and hot restart this thing. Right. So once this thing is done, what I can do, I can simply say the offset value will be 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 modified. Okay, we don't have to take this, the two string value, but the text here, my bad. I'm sorry for that. So it will, it was ending the entire text here. So let's do it again. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, modifier. Yes, it is working. Now you can see the output is changing here. Let's say zero or 0 or 0.2. Okay, it is not moving at all. 0 0.5, yeah, it is moving. All right, now you can do the same thing for the uh, end offset because right now we are playing with the start offset. Right, so I can copy the entire block here and add a spacing first of all. So let's say a size box of a height of 20 and paste everything here. Right, now here you can see uh, we can also more add here modify end offset button and modify end x value, modify end y value, offset and x controller, offset and y controller. Right now here you can see we can say end offset and similarly we have to simply modify the entire controllers here. Right now once that thing is done I can simply say set end offset and the value of end offset will be the end offset just like that. Now if I say 0 0.4, 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 the value will be changing here. Right now the entire thing is gone so let's make it 0 0.1. 0.2 yeah it is going at the top right so this is how you can simply implement the entire thing now before closing this video let's make it some spacing here just like that so we can play with it as much as we want let's make it constant yeah so uh, right now you can see what we really are doing here is we are simply changing the value of our entire offsets here right now this was one of the most important tutorial that you must have seen because we are able to tune in the entire value of offset and also uh, animate the entire thing without any glitches right now you can make it into minus one as well because it is completely dependent on you all right my bad so minus 0 0.2 modified it's going from the reverse or two it, it is it will be two from the downwards because it is a start offset right now if i make it three it will go downward and downward because the offset will be gone here Right, so let's make it 0 for now. So it will go at the top and let's make it 0 0.2. Just like that. Now here you can see with the help of this following uh, text editing controllers, you will be able to animate the entire things. So before closing that, I just want to, yeah, make it 10, easy. Right, so in this video, we'll be able, hey everyone, in this video, Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be showing to you how to create this following animation with the custom values for our offset. If I make it here, it will be value will be changing. And if I say zero and like the one and 0 0.2, the value will be changing one and all. 